Yeah, oh, look, I think it's, it's disappointing how it's been communicated. Um, yeah, our boys all found out through social media. Um, so, you know, I thought New Zealand rugby didn't even have the respect to consult RA about their decision. And uh, so that's, that's hugely disappointing. Um, you know, we made a commitment to, to play a test in, in Auckland on the 7th of August. And while we had players who'd been away from home for six weeks already out of New South Wales, uh, yeah, we honoured that commitment. Uh, they asked us to play an extra game because we couldn't go back to Wellington on the 28th, and we honoured that as well. And they made a commitment to come here on the 21st, uh, which they pushed back to the 28th, which now they're not coming. So uh, it's, it's hugely disappointing, disappointing for obviously the Perth community, uh, but really disappointing for our players too, because we're, um, we're in limbo a little bit now too. Um, what we know is that over the next day or so, we'll get clarity on what the rugby championship looks like and where it's going to be held. And whether that's Brisbane or whether it's South Africa or whether it's in Europe, uh, the games are to take place on those dates, so the 11th or 12th of September is the first one. So, you know, New Zealand could have come here, could have played the game here, and um, knowing that, you know, we've got a rugby championship game a couple of weeks after that. So, yeah, I'll, you know, hugely disappointing. What does it mean for the relationship between Rugby Australia and New Zealand rugby at the moment? Yeah, well, I just feel there's only one of us who are interested in doing what's best for the game. You know, last year we went to uh, New Zealand to ensure that um, the games were played uh, for the benefit of both countries. Uh, we quarantined for two weeks prior to playing a test in Wellington. And, um, you know, the expectation was we made a commitment to go there this year. They made a commitment to come here and they haven't honoured that. So uh, it tells you more about them than us, I'd say. Were you shocked when you saw how you found out social media, whatever it was? Oh, I'm not sure if shock's the right word because I'm not surprised. Um, but, you know, because there's been talk about them being away from home for a long time, but, you know, um, you know, we, we, our boys were away from, a long time, away from home for a long time last year. And you know, we had our Rebels boys who spent um, three months during Super Rugby away from home and then spent three months with us. So, you know, all the Queenslanders, we were away from home for three months last year, so um, yeah, we've all made sacrifices to ensure that the games are played for the financial benefit of everyone and and the good of the game. So um, yeah, just you know, incredibly disappointed that you know for playing the welfare card. Well, yeah, our, our New South Wales guys haven't been home for eight weeks already, uh, with no with no clear end in sight either, and the likelihood that guys won't get home till late November uh, to then quarantine for a couple of weeks so you know but we'll, we'll do what we can to, to ensure the benefit of the game and um, so you know New Zealand's attitude to not uh, honouring their commitments um, you know it's really disappointing. It seems quite bizarre because even the CEOs were talking minutes before New Zealand announced that how could that even come about where it doesn't even have the courtesy to mention by the way yeah, oh, like I said, it tells you a bit more about them than it does about us. Do you see them as they see them as a prima donna in this case? Is it right? Well, I mean, I'm not sure the, the appropriate words, but you know, it's um, you know, it's, it's it's all about them, and uh, without any concept of um, you know what it's doing over here. So you know, we'll sit on our hands for a few days now. Um, uncertain whether the test will be put back another week uh, and played here in Perth or whether it's going to be put off and played you know, somewhere else in the world. So, um, yeah. How That's long a, do you anticipate you'll be waiting for, for that call to be made? I mean, we were hoping from a, um, a Queensland government perspective that we would have found out today. Oh, I think with the All Blacks now certainly they're not going to come. Uh, there's probably a little bit less pressure on that decision being made today so hopefully we'll know by Monday and um, yeah then we can plan accordingly. In the meantime what do you do? Oh we train. Um, we've got a session tomorrow which will change a little bit. We'll, um, we'll make sure there's a bit of fun and uh, hard work in it rather than uh, the structure uh, that we plan to put in place for the All Blacks next, um, next weekend. So um, but look, look we're a tight group um, and you know we'll just make sure that we we pull tighter, We've, we're getting lots of plans in place where we're 
trying to connect family and if we end up in Europe, uh, can, can some of the families uh, join us there? And um, So yeah, so there's a lot of moving parts. Dave, my understanding is this stadium will be free on September 4, which is the week after the scheduled game. If that was the case, would you, if you, you, you're already here, would you hope that your blacks might honour that one, if they could fix it for that date? Yeah, look, on current form, I'd be very surprised if I'd agree to coming um, over here for that date. Um, you know, the reason it's unlikely is because, you know, we're going to play um, you know, a rugby championship game somewhere, and if it's not in Brisbane, um, you know, we had to travel to Europe, well, you know, you can't see that game going ahead, so, um, yeah, like, what, what it does, the decision is, is making the whole process um, untenable, really. So do you think the games will only go ahead in the one spot, it won't be like one in Perth or one in Queensland and then you go to Europe or anything like that? It's... No, no, I think, um, you know, someone will, because you know, yeah, there's, there's quarantine issues involved in this, so, you know, Argentina and South Africa are also sitting on their hands mm. trying to get a little bit of clarity around what's going to happen and um, so the quicker we can make that decision the better, but yeah, it'll um, it'll all happen in one in one place, so either Europe, South Africa, or, or Brisbane or Queensland. As a New Zealander, is it embarrassing not for you personally, but to see the way that the, your company manages? Oh, look, I've I've had a couple of years now um, where I'm I'm uh, on the other side of a ditch, and um, it's been really it's been really um, disappointing. Uh, the way they've conducted themselves over that period, and um, you know, if you if you cast your mind back to last year, where um, yeah, we wanted to play, you know, it looked like all the rugby championship was going to be played in New Zealand. They were COVID free. Uh, we requested to play six tests in five weeks so we could get back. Um, yeah, you know, prior to um, yeah doing quarantine and, and then be out before Christmas, and uh, New Zealand wouldn't support that. Uh, but when it when it changed and they had to come over here, of course they were requesting that they wanted to get their players home, and they were complaining about having the quarantine through Christmas. So, and of course we uh, we moved the test earlier to allow them to get out earlier, so they could they could do that. So, you know, it just you know, I guess my experience over the last 18 months has been there's only there's only one team that's or one uh, one partner that's prepared to be flexible and help the other out and. You know, this is uh, this is the reward you get. Have you spoken to any your players and, and how are they feeling at the moment? Oh, look, like all of us are just um, incredibly disappointed, uh, and, and it's, it's the uncertainty is probably the big thing. Um, you know, are the All Blacks going to come over a week later? Are we staying in Perth? Um, and I think once we get clarity around that, it, it'll help. You know, we'll put a light at the end of the tunnel, and, uh, and then we can plan. But at the moment. Um, you know, our plan was train for the next week, play a test, and then head somewhere on Sunday. Uh, but we're, yeah, we're not sure whether we'll be staying for another week or or heading off. What's your what, what's your gut feeling? You have to make a gut call about how the rest of the, the series will play out in both rugby championships. What do you feel? Yeah, oh, look, um, our, our preference is, is Queensland, and so um, you know, hopefully, Queensland government will support that and. Uh, and there needs to be some guarantees around that because obviously you've got other countries coming in. So, so that's what we're hopeful of, and um, you know, hopefully we'll find out as soon as possible. Have you spoken to any, any of your counterparts in New Zealand? No. Do you have any messages for any fans? This was meant to be a sellout stadium. Yeah, oh, look, again, hugely disappointed because the 21st was sold out. Um, the All Blacks didn't want to come over on the 21st, so you know, the 28th sold out. And now they can push back again. So, but we'd love to play test footy here. Uh, we're certainly enjoying our time here at the moment, and you know the guys are going to get out, and watch a bit of club footy tomorrow. So we're going to spread ourselves around the clubs and and try and get a bit of community connection in there. Um, but yeah, look, um, we're uh, we're sad that we uh, we're not going to be able to have a Bledisloe Cup game here this weekend and or next weekend, and then uh, you know hopefully. Hopefully we'll, we'll know a bit more and there'll be a positive uh, response from New Zealand.